Alrighty everyone, it is the month of June of 2023. Jeez, where did May go? That just flew by and I think I say that every time when I start these videos. And uh, yeah, today's coin book day. Sorry, I'm playing that again. Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, comic book day, and also picked up some Pokemon cards. I am sure I got the uh, Mimikyu. I can't remember if I get this one, but that's all right. I don't mind opening up another because sometimes you get some really nice cards in these ones. Mm. Look and, at this boy! And Luke's joined. Look in. at that boy! Look at him! Look at that boy! Luke joined in today because he wants to be part of the action. I want to be part of the fun. And uh, this is a nice way to start my, you know, the first video of. My Kane Foles vlogs and yeah, just talk about you know the plans, what we're going to be doing, and yeah, still just chugging along with editing my playthroughs. Uh, I'm getting back into recording now. I've just started a. Um, I finally jumped into Minecraft, doing a hardcore series where just try and survive as long as I can. And uh, bear with us. I thought it was going to be quiet today. We're actually in the Bunnings warehouse parking lot and. Stop ruining my video! And um, it's a public holiday, or I, I'm not sure, I couldn't find any... No schools today, so everyone's got the opportunity... Or even work. Like, just standard... Oh no, because there's workers here. I can't open it. So yeah, started that. Uh, almost finished Super Mario Brothers 3. We're going to be recording a session of that. Sorry, I was... Ew. <laughs> I could feel it coming down. That's what she said. <laughs> So yeah, I think we're pretty close to finishing that, and because I've, I've got a list of games for us to do Double Trouble plays on, I would really like to do Dino Crisis 2, I think that'd be a fun one to do next. Anyway, let's get to the box. So we've got a nice Grill Vard, oh, these foils are really nice, and then there's the Mimikyu, big card Mimikyu, so I've got... Reggie, I can't get the name Reggie right. Drago. Drago, I just like it. It's like something get a Digimon, and then we've got Reggie Alecki. Very nice. It's all good. Digimon, I jumped into that uh, Digimon World New Order. Oh, it's so much like the first game and the boring bits. I wish that, yeah, they'd done a little bit different. I, that's, I always forget Digimon World's a good game, but man, is it time consuming, it's tedious as shit. So, I got. Two Silver Tempests. There's the parking load on. A Brilliant Stars, hopefully for that Charizard. Big version. And a Fusion Strike. Uh, I've got a, I think, it's, I think I've got... Seriously? Only four? Oh, that's the latest set. There's some nice cards in that I one. I've got four packs, what a con. Yeah, so I've got four of these. The Crown Zenith. Actually, this work. Uh, this is the that's the latest set, I think. So seriously, only four packs. Yeah, it's not a bad deal. You get a promo card. Yeah, ten bucks a pack. I suppose it makes. Mm -hmm. up. I'm going to open up uh, Fusion Strike. Hopefully, get a Mew, Carver Squire, Sand Slash, Swadloon, Groomer, Sheets, Baneri, Basculum. What's the What's the game we're doing? As the kids are doing, battle packs or something. Oh no, nah, just. You bought what you bought, you just open what you got. Energy Retrieval, Shinx, Grubloon, Lava Star, Phalinx. Oh, that's a cool looking whale lord. Yeah. I like this one. Vicar Vault. Reminds me of the bugs in Starship Troopers. Any good what is it? Good bug is a dead bug. Any good bug is a dead bug. Uh, I'll be a nice guy. You can take the code. Oh, that's what I where'd I put Oh, there it is. It's meant to say. I'll, because I want to keep the uh, the promo. Yeah, promos I'll keep. I'll give you the rest. Don't be fucking selfish. Uh, i open up my... I'll do a Silver Tempest. Snow Rump. Tangula. Lossom. Gumshoe. Celizal. Kind of wire. And nothing's... Nothing's jumping. Machina. Clang. Emergency Jelly. Togdemu. Catalil. Big Chew, Growler, Clink, Toracats, Oh, Chestnut V, we got Biddulf, <gasps> and guess what? Mm. Coughing, always like a coughing. I can't remember if I did that. Now. 
Grubbin, Execute, nice hollow Absol, looks pretty cool. Yeah, we'll do a brilliant stars. Get that Charizard V, uh, V star. Got a V star card, Clash Stadium, Luxio, Pot Helmet, Deadin, Farfetched, Dust Skull. Hey, he's searching. What you searching for? Hello! Got a Stoutland V. Nice. Rama. Got a V star. Shinx. Trapinch. We've all. Oh. Conch Crow V. Ooh. Very Ooh. nice. Yeah, getting lucky this time. Yeah, I get a couple of hit and misses. I'll just hold on to him. That's what I'll just hold on to him. What? Uh, I think you left your lights on. There's no one in the car. He's probably left the car on. He's probably going to be two seconds. Uh oh. Oh no. Not my problem. What a little punny quad stone. Unless it's one of those cars that turns up automatically. No, I think he's just running into because he's shitty parking job. Yeah. Phoebus. Neubat. Snowant. Sandor, Fennekin, Reverse Hollow Fennekin, Lilligans. Alrighty, not bad, not bad at all. Got a few uh, V's. Better put that pack. Oh, very exciting month for us because Supernova. We're going to be definitely, we've got the time off, we've got the tickets. Cannot wait. Don't know what I'm going to be hunting for. I'm just going in with a free mind. And I'm not going to stress about the celebrity thing. Yeah, I used to do it, getting all the autographs, but unless there's someone I really want to meet, then I'll do it. Someone like Brendan Fraser. I'll definitely go out of my way. Who would I want to meet? Apart from Kane. Julia Voth, Jill Valentine, the the face behind Jill Valentine and like Resident Evil Remake and all that would be really cool one day. And anyone Resident Evil? Hmm, who else would Sorry, I? thirsty. I was just thinking of them the other day. I mean, we've got the um, like original, original Spider-Man, did the first uh, movie coming to Comic-Con. Jim Cummings is coming. I was going to, but he's like 90 bucks. Yeah, so I, so I, I can't do it. The thing is, it's uh, when we were doing it before, it was like, oh, we've got to get all the autographs. Yeah. But now it's like, I'm really going to pick. And mostly I'm going to be there for the locals, you know, the local artists. Yeah, the and, indie people. And um, uh, Freddie Williams is coming again, and he signed my um, uh, my Batman, Batman Teenage Team Mutant Team Ninja, like the first comic. Uh, I'd like to get him to sign the other two first issues, like volume two and three, It'd be really cool. I'm gonna get him to do my TMT universe, but also just uh, any retro video because I'm in that hunt mood now, hunting for any retro video games. If I can get a Nintendo 64, because I really want to play some games on that. Because our one's just clear cult. We got the Pokemon Stadium edition and it's... I'm not confident enough to take it apart and fix it. I could do it with a PlayStation, like take it apart and clean and stuff. But N64, I'm just a bit nervous. So if I can find a very cheap console of that, it'd be awesome. Uh, I need a new PS2. I think my one's ready to conk out. But uh, even games, hopefully I can find some more for my collection. And then, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be a little fancy fuckboy. Just stick to, I'd say miniatures, but I think Warhammer and D&D, &D, I might try and keep an eye out. Cause I'm really I hope there's a dice table, because I want to buy some dice. I'm getting big on the painting, so I might keep an eye on like Warhammer-y stuff. And that's about it, really. Just gonna have a good time got the weekend off because i didn't think we we're gonna get it because so it was last minute with our work that you got to try and do it six weeks in advance because we work in aged care it's a very intense job can't just you know spring oh i need a month off in you know two weeks two weeks so you got to try uh not saying that <laughs> not saying our work is very much like that you know some days you can do it but they're just saying you know just be prepared you might get it rejected but uh, we got lucky, it's just the weekend, and yeah, we've just been really craving something 
to look forward to because every year with Comic Con, I was like, oh, next year now we've got to save up. And I was buying all like Yu Gi Oh booster boxes for my unboxing series and all this cool stuff and meeting celebrities. And then when Comic Con left, it was just nothing really to look forward to. And we went to a supernova in 2011. It just wasn't. It wasn't that good, and then we got very, put off with it. It was very dingy. Like. But now, this year, it's going to be in the same place as Comic-Con used to be, so hopefully, yeah. you know, it'll be a lot sort of Cleaner. Clean, uh, clean and organised, and looking forward to it. So that's going to be coming up this month. Uh, hopefully, we're going to cosplay, but it might do it next year. We'll just get our feet wet, see how we go. I'll just bring a camera, uh, film some videos for that, and yeah, so that's around the end of the month. And until then, just going to be catching up on some recordings and some playthroughs. Uh, oh, what would I? What did I suddenly crave to do it? Uh, Tomb Raider. I've been very Tomb Raider lately because I watched the 2018 movie and yeah, that wasn't so bad. It just uh, very brutally <laughs> to watch someone get <clears throat> all over the place. But um, yeah, I want to do the Tomb Raider trilogy, like uh, Tomb Raider. Legend? Underworld. Tomb Raider Anniversary? No, nah, that's the second one. That's the first one. Yeah, that's the first one. I'm going to bet you on it. It's Tomb Raider Anniversary. It's Tomb Raider Legend. Tomb Raider Anniversary. Oh, I can't. My phone's recording. Google, come on. Place your bets. I'm going to say Tomb Raider Legend, Tomb Raider Anniversary, Tomb Raider Underworld. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> He's changing his mind. Come on. Because it was a remake of the first uh, video game. So this one came out in 2007. Anniversary 2007. <laughs> Come on. Give me your cards, boy. <laughs> what? Go on. 2006. Oh, no. isn't that anniversary? Tomb Raider Legend, 2006. Yeah. Tomb Raider Anniversary, 2007. I was right. I said Anniversary come out first. You said Legend come out first, then Anniversary. And then I said... Tomb Raider Anniversary. You said Legend come out first. Yeah. No, okay, I'm confused. Oh, no, there we go. No, I'm, no, hang on. <laughs> no, no, no. You're telling me 2007's before 2006? Wait a minute. Give me your cards. Hmm. Uh, you... I had a late night playing Zelda last night. I was up till four. He was willing to die on that. I was willing to die on that hill. And even when <laughs> you were saying it, you were wrong. Two thousand and seven, two thousand six. Yeah, two thousand and six is before two thousand and seven. That was where I think you could probably pinpoint the moment it went. Oh, Bing! oh, penny drop, penny drop. Then underworld. So, like I said, I've been playing Zelda all night, so. My brain's you not would working. Have that. Oh, Tomb Raider 2. Here then come, Tomb Raider. 2007 was first. <laughs> you should be a lawyer. I should be. Hmm. Better call Luke. Hey, I, I want to finish this up. I ain't ashamed. I know I'm stupid. I'm not ashamed. Embrace the stupid. I'm embracing the stupid. So, yeah, I really want to do that. But I've got to finish off Per Zifferance. I still haven't got to doing that. Because I've been wanting to finish a lot of edits and got a few playthroughs done and now I'm cracking onto my cyberpunk playthrough and getting that. Jeez, I thought they were going to hit that pole then. So yeah, we'll end it there. So yeah, it's about twenty. Oh, yeah. what are you? Wait, what? oh, it's a parking spot. I was just really trying to work out what they were doing. Sorry, we're not judgmental. I am. He's a dummy. I am. Comic book day. Yeah, a little stack today and some tablet comics. So let's get to it. We got some Captain America, uh, part one, Captain America Cold War. Uh, yeah, it was all right. Um, I don't know. I just couldn't get really hooked. We just so Captain America's son is captured and in, in another universe. So he's got a team trying to help him, but Bucky's on uh, the bad guy's side. So yeah, it's all right. I just I don't know. Just didn't hook me. I might put it on my sub list and see how issue two is. And we got another Captain America. Uh, this was a one shot, I believe. It ended. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any other issues, but um, yeah, Captain America. Um, Unforgiven. 
really enjoyed this one. It had the the uh, the vampires. There's a few Marvel comics that I've read, and yeah, you had Dracula as a mutant and turning. A, I think it was an X Men comic, if I remember, and yeah, it was turning everyone into vampires. And this was what it was about. And it was a bit crazy. I was struggling to keep up, but I love my vampires, and this was a good one. This one caught my eye. Issue one of Feeder. It was really weird. Like me and Luke were looking at, like looking at this comic in the store, and we're like, is this supposed to be a comic of a movie or a TV show? And it was pretty much we're following this character and a washed-up movie star, and he's pretty much like a uh, how do I put it? A right-hand man. He pay, he's a debt collector kind of person, and. Well, just I was looking through it and I'm thinking, I'm, it feels like this is an actual show, but I tried to research it and couldn't find any details. I think it's just a, it's just a comic, and by chance it looks like it's based off a show. And yeah, it was okay. It was good. Oh man, I really enjoyed this one. Issue one of Storm. The X Men comics as of late have been really good. I loved the the Rogan Gambit comic, and I picked this one up. And once again, it just felt like. I was watching an episode of the cartoon. It's I like X Men when I say it every time. It's not the doom and gloom X Men, you know, where they're all feeling miserable because oh mutants, oh you're not one of us, stay away, blah blah blah. And it's like oh why are we fighting anymore? Why are we protecting these people? Uh, this one, um, actually, before I say, uh, I like X Men where it's just you know we have a job. Protect the humans, doesn't matter if they don't like us, we have a role, that's why we're the X-Men, and that's what I always loved, I love the cartoon from the 90s, X-Men Evolution, you know, one of my favourite cartoons of all time, and uh, this comic, it felt just like that, Storm's leading the, the team, and there's a couple of people that don't agree with her leadership, it's um, uh, Shadowcat and Rogue. Are having issues with her, like, oh, you're not Storm, you're different, you think you're this hard ass with your hair different and different clothing, what are you, some biker chick? And so they end up becoming a bit of a rebel, uh, basically going out drinking. Shadowcat gets a tattoo, and Storm's like, why would you do that? That's unacceptable in the X Men, yada yada. And it's just, it's almost like a family, they're all bickering with each other, and that's what I like. That's my kind of, you know, X-Men style. And, yeah, I can't wait to read the next issue. I'm really hooked. I should probably say the plot is pretty much just Storm trying to be the leader. And she's struggling a little bit. And, yeah, she's she's getting there. Last but certainly not least, another Vampirella comic. Uh, the Superpowers, once again. And it was one of my favourite runs of Vampirella and Red Sonya when it was the, the Superpowers and the Dark Powers. There's two sides and I just gotta say Vampirella is dashing in this dress I like the um because it's set in 1948 it's before the 1950s and yeah I want more Vampirella in that time it's very you know very dashing alrighty now onto the digital comics I'm fancy some Pokemon but I haven't read this yet because I made a mistake I I bought volume 3 completely forgetting that I've actually got the physical copy of volume 2 and I have not read it yet so uh, once I finish that I'll get to this one I was going to get another Yu-Gi-Oh but there's a few mangas that I'm currently reading and I need to catch up on uh, I've got obviously Yu-Gi-Oh uh, Pokemon you know I read the first volume I think last year and really enjoyed uh, I've got Demon Slayer I need to pick up again uh, Attack on Titan and what was the other one Oh, can I see it? Rising of the Shield Hero. Oh, that's been so long since I've read a volume of that. I really enjoyed that one. So, yeah, there's a few mangas I'm balancing, but I was ready for some Pokemon. Issue 3 is She-Hulk. Mm, it was a little bit... It was a bit boring. There was a lot of talking, just basically between these two characters, trying to figure out where he's come from, why is he here, yada yada. It started off really good with, you know, with She-Hulk trying to you know, work and a few other superheroes are needing her assistance and I thought that was funny and then most of the comic was just these two in an apartment talking and yeah, 
just couldn't get into it and I just remembered I there's another She-Hulk comic that I was reading and I need to finish that one so uh, I might put this on hold see how I go and if the next issue doesn't pick up I might uh, end up scrapping it here's issue 3 of Silk I spoiled myself with this one so they've just dropped another run of Silk and I picked up issue 1 in the last episode and yeah uh, I ended up spoiling myself because I'll spoil it now because now I'm not talking about issue one of that other comic. The oh, I've gone blank. What are they called? The therapist. There's a ah, oh, I completely the word's gone. Basically, she's talking to a therapist, you know, about problems, yada yada, and turns out he's a bad guy. And in the current run now, he's working with the enemy. And so I'm reading it now, and it's like oh, I know you're an enemy. You're a traitor. Yeah, issue 5 of this Resident Evil comic. Next issue is the end, and I'm hooked. I just, I'm definitely going to pick up the next issue in my next comic haul. I'm really enjoying it, and I wish we could get some more Resident Evil uh, stuff for uh, Kindle or Amazon Kindle, and hopefully one day. Because this was definitely not part of the, um, the Kindle store when I first started getting into it. I'm sure this was recently put on there and hopefully I, I really want some of the mangas to come out hey, what I should be doing as I'm talking just flicking through just to show some of the stuff because yeah it's really cool I might do that actually I won't do it now because I'm almost finished I'll do it for the next episode and I'll just do a couple for this as I'm talking issue 4 of Star Wars Mario Joe by the Emperor's Hand really enjoying this comic it started off a little slow oh just look at that you know that panel right there it makes me want to watch the trilogy again oh i love star wars i missed out on star wars star wars day didn't feel like star wars day this year for some reason and normally i would watch the movies but um uh, yeah i might i might have a day off one day and just watch off the original trilogy but uh yeah i really like this issue because i kind of like when someone i mean mario jade's technically started off as a a villain working for the Emperor you know she's the top hand for him and he's gone now so she's trying to pretty much just live in in hiding if I remember she's hiding from someone and she gets a part-time job in a bar and pretty much just cleaning house making sure people pay their tabs and all that stuff and yeah I really enjoyed it and what I've noticed she's starting to feel kind of yeah she's showing feelings towards other people whereas earlier on it's like I have a mission whoever gets in my way I've got to gun them down but yeah she got really you know she was really upset at one point because uh, her boss ends up ends up uh, being killed because of her and she's just happy making some money and hopefully get out when she can there's a fig a figure has just come out and I didn't want to just buy it because I haven't actually read any any like, books or or in this case a comic of Mara Jade and I didn't want to just buy it because because she's a really popular character I didn't want to buy it just for the sake of that but once I finish this comic I'm going to pick up the figure yeah she ain't taking any crap last comic the next issue of the Walking Dead Deluxe issue 54 and man I, I knew Abraham in the show was a bit of a bit of a prick but jeez is it extra prick in this comic and oh, I love it I really liked Abraham and god I was gutted see I hated what they did and as many other Walking Dead fans and it almost made me queer but I stuck through to the end I've actually finished the series but when it was the Negan and Eeny Meeny Miny Mo, and it's like oh who's gonna die yada yada and then the episode dropped and it was Abraham I was like Damn it, why? He was such a badass. I thought this was funny. Oh yeah, I'm gonna aim the gun. Whack! <laughs> nice try, sweet cheeks. And then he's just telling them the plan, but yeah, he just goes insane at one point. You know, explaining about the herd coming and their bad news and uh, Herschel ends up like, oh, you know, how do we know you're telling the truth, yada yada. We don't know. And then, yeah, that's an MA. 
<laughs> just and then her Rosita ends up having to tell him to calm down. I actually forgot she was even involved because it's all been Eugene and Abraham, but yeah, then they end up piecing out of oh, piecing out, but um making peace with each other. They just want to stay the night and if you want to tag along you can. And that's that for this comic book day. Alright anyway, so if I look like shit, we just hopped into the car because we've got another Pokemon Go event. It's the shiny event. Luke's really pissed. <laughs> I'm get, I've got none. Man, I'm not getting you in. I've got none yet. Yeah, oh god, I fucking shit. I didn't, I, we just jumped right in the car. I haven't even got shoes on. <laughs> but um, I've got three shinies so far. Barboach, Sobolite, and a Caterpie. I want Caterpie. I've already got the Magikarp shiny, which I caught a few months ago. Luke's looking for him, but I'm hunting for him as well to trade. And yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick little video because I completely, f we were just in a rush. We thought, oh, because I thought what it was going to be, they'll be spawning, but no, you got to do it through the tasks. Yeah. And yeah, oh, what a rush. There we go, Luke we got, got one. The rush I just got, finally. He's happy because we already got the shiny Gyarados, just need the magic. I needed the magic cup. Nice, so I'm happy. Got it. So we're just going to hunt anything else. I need two more Caterpies, and I'm <sighs> set. Okay, everyone, you should be able to hear my voice. I'm just doing some screen recording. I just did one task. Hopefully, this is a magic cup. My collection is full! Barboach! Oh, I don't know what the magic cup one is. I should have Googled it. Alrighty, people, see any shinies? Bam! Oh, that's the same line. Another, there it's all random. What's all random? The, it doesn't matter what task you're picking. Um, Damn it. I've been giving them away thinking they're set. All right, everyone. We know the system now. Damn it. That's well, all right. Do we want to, do we want two? Come on. Now, ah. let's just see if the final. I'm about to do it right now. Do you think it was going to work? Yep. Yeah, you, yeah, so you're guaranteed, so I need one more Caterpie. Well, I'm glad I went to Magikarp, because this was the only way I got the Magikarp, because I didn't get it from other... Damn it! So you're definitely going to get a legit. I just need one more Caterpie for a full shiny set. Alrighty, so we're about to finish it off. <gasps> you! Oh, so I just got lucky. This is fucking bullshit, okay? This... These fucking assholes, this fuck, these fucking assholes! The fuck is their problem, man? This is fucking typical cop hate game bullshit! Yo, yo, fucking chill, McGill and Gorilla. I mean, you tripping, dude. Hey, what the fuck are you looking at, asshole? Alrighty, everyone, comic book day. I actually didn't get to the comic shop this time, but uh, I went ahead and bought some digital comics anyway, because, yeah, I really want to. Uh, read some next issues of the ones I was reading, and I've also finished a comic. Issue 5 of Star Wars Mara Jade. Yeah, I've been really enjoying this, I thought. Because I think I said a few times, I knew who Mara Jade was, but I haven't really read anything with her in it, if that makes sense. I haven't read any of the books. I think the only thing I ever really sort of done with oh, how do I put it uh, played Star Wars uh, that Masters of Terrace Kasai I can never remember the name and she's a character in that game and that's about it for me no one of who the character is but I thought I really want to read something at some point and yeah her comic was on Kindle like Amazon and reading through it and I'm really enjoying it I really I love how she starts off as this villain working for the the Emperor and then you know the Empire falls and then she's sort of trying to survive without being spotted and yeah this issue was getting really intense and then by the end of it I was like no we can't end <laughs> damn it so next issue it's gonna be the final issue and cannot wait issue 55 of the Walking Dead Deluxe and oh boy I was reading through this comic and I completely forgot about the cover because, spoiler alert, oh, someone ends up taking their own life. They just can't take it anymore. And 
as I was reading through the comic, I completely forgot about the cover because I thought, oh, kind of spoiled. Now Glenn's going to find someone, you know, hung, and I thought, oh, I'm going to be prepared for it. And yeah, at one point I did actually forget. I <laughs> couldn't believe it right at the end. I was like, oh my God. And as it was sort of leading up to it, I was like, oh no, oh no. And yeah, this is what I'm really enjoying with the walking dead it kind of it doesn't lag on if that makes any sense because i've made a comment in the last not the last one but the last last uh, comic day where someone was complaining that there was not a lot of dialogue and there was just too many pages without it and i thought well that's not a bad thing i like when i mean look at that <laughs> that caught me by surprise you don't need dialogue for that so yeah really liking the way yeah, the walking dead is going and yeah issue 55 i think i'm almost halfway i can't i think it was 130 the series ended can't actually remember so yeah you're just going to keep getting the next issue every now uh, probably every comic day until i finish because yeah really enjoying it and whew, it's getting intense now so everyone's around the campfire just having a good time a good haul and apparently they found a zombie that was really weak and it's very fascinating it just didn't want to know and all that stuff and Glenn's like yeah I'm gonna check on Maggie she's been gone a while but no nah, we're all good I'll find her and at this point I've completely forgotten the cover Maggie where are you Maggie and around about this point I'm like wait a minute Issue 6 of the Resident Evil comic I've been reading, and this is the final issue all done, and I really hope we get some more at some point, because I'm pretty sure at the time I've been really getting into the Kindle and Amazon, using my tablet to read comics, that this comic wasn't uh, on that store. Like, I couldn't, you couldn't download it onto your tablet, and God, I really hope they do more, and especially a lot of older comics as well at some point, because... There's a few Mortal Kombat comics that I would like to read and a few Resident Evil mangas or manwas I think they were called but yeah I really like them at some point and anyway I'm sort of sidetracking yeah a great end it's a typical Resident Evil land you know all the enemies and creatures are out coming out to play to take out the last of the troops and yeah big battle with a big tyrant or the scientist dude that ended up because uh, he infected himself and then he can heal so he uses a special tool that ends up blowing his insides out he can't heal because yeah your organs because uh, he's only his skin regenerates so I thought that was pretty clever and dead or is he so yeah really great read really enjoyed it issue 2 of all AIs yeah a really not a spooky comic, but it's one of those comics that are out there, just very creepy and just sort of, how do I put it, you know, not indie if you know what I mean, like, it's a bit campy, yeah, I'll say that, it's very campy and yeah, I love a comic like that, it's very creepy, but the only downside with this issue, issue one started off really good, kind of laying out the format of what this comic's about, but this one was just a bit more a lot of talking and that's where I'm a little bit mm, you know I wish something would happen but they're setting it up pretty good and at the end of the comic it does pay off and yeah I was happy with that and last comic of the day issue two of the latest alien run and yeah this alien or Marvel run of alien really enjoying it and I'm really shocked I'm just I thought when Marvel picked up the license, I thought, oh no, it's going to be so bad, but the run before was so brutal. I mean, I don't think I've seen any Dark Horse versions of Alien or Predator where it's so in your face, oh, grotesque. I mean, there were some moments I was reading through a couple of the issues in the last one where I'm like, oh, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. But yeah, 
uh, if I re remember the super soldiers they've been asked to sort of help out and they find this base and yeah things just don't seem to be what they are and I won't spoil too much but it's pretty good I do recommend it and that's the end of this round of comics uh, I think the next one I'll be able to squeeze into this cave files I think the last day of the month is Friday so I should be able to do another comic run uh, before the end of this month all right everyone it is a beautiful chilly Sunday and I've barely done any videos just been jam-packed with a lot of stuff nothing bad just you know busy busy but I tell you what can't wait for next week supernova so I will be getting some video of that but until then just been to the shop got a few goodies mainly some Yu-Gi-Oh packs and what did you get I got DVDs I know I'm old-fashioned I'm still buying DVDs so <laughs> to try and make it interesting like you unpack a pack and then I you show a DVD yeah. oh. so just been in the Yu-Gi-Oh craze I've literally just started a, a playthrough of Yu-Gi-Oh Day of the Duelists one of the best Yu-Gi-Oh games ever released it it was probably one of the first games for no nah, no nah, not for Game Boy Advance there was a few before that but it followed the rule set and it was a really good game to learn how to play and it actually feels like you're in the game because you're basically just trying to build your deck and win tournaments and yeah so I started that and with the 25th anniversary just coming around next month with a lot of booster boxes I've just been Yu-Gi-Oh mad and I thought I'd get some packs so I got two wild survivors and four of the maze of memories hope for that gate guardian so I think I'll start with a, a maze first hope for that gate guardian one foil card. Oh, I don't like that. It kind of ruins the illusion. You playing Pokemon? That's controversial. We're doing Yu Gi Oh! Get a spin in the head That'll do. Oh, just something about opening Yu Gi Oh! packs. It's different. Alrighty, we've got Soul of Supreme King. Deep, dark, trap hole. Hey! Oh! Sangra Thunder, that Boy. is a crime that's not a hollow. Uh, Barry and Utopia, Untopia, Forge New Future, this creepy little punk. Oh, don't like that, hollow on the back. <laughs> Overlay Network. All right. We've got Sangra Thunder, probably my favorite of the gate guys. Because he, he, was, he was the first one I ever pulled. It was when we had these those little tins where it's like you either had Dark Magician tin, Blue Eyes tin, Jinzo tin, and I remember pulling Sangra of the Thunder out of one of them tins. I might just, although, one of them is a DVD, but I'll try and do the Blu-rays. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. I Great actually, movie. I actually really liked it, so I thought as soon as it came out on Blu-ray, I was definitely going to buy it. And uh, They come out quick. Yeah, but uh, I was debating whether to get the steel book, but it was like 50 bucks, and I thought I'll just stick with the Blu-rays and DVD, so yeah. It's not like a video game where you're playing it every day. Mm. Dungeons and Dragons. Alright, so now I'll do a... Wild Survivors. I don't know what's in this one. It was just at Kmart and it was really busy, so I just grabbed what I could. Super Soaring. Pity to render done. Oh, it's a baby. Yeah, let's see. Ab. Uh, just, just tilt it a little bit. It's just because it's foil. I still can't read it. It's uh, Pity to Petit render done. Petit to render done. Petit to render done. Yeah. Oh, Frostosaurus. Oh, yeah, he's a he's a classic. Incantation Bookstein, Incantation Chalice Line. No. Nah. Oh! Yeah. Xeno Meteorus. Meteorus. Oh, nice. Was that a hollow in every pack? Better, better be. Here, I'll do I might, hollow in every pack. Damn. I might do a, I'll do a DVD. This one. Ah. Mad God. The Phil, is it Phil Tepet? Feel, 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 yeah, feel tap it. It's the little stop motion sort of movie. Oh, that yeah, the movie. one that's like apparently it's really full on. So I thought I really wanted that. Was, that's the one they spent 30 years making, yeah. isn't it? So uh, I thought, like, I mean, I just realized what that was. If you like Jurassic Park, like with the dinosaur animatronics and that, this is the guy that was he the guy that did that? Feel tap it? Was it someone else I'm thinking of? 
yeah, yeah. you were talking about that, and I thought, why do I recognise that? And it just hit me. Did he? It was. It was. He was the one that was, did all the dinosaurs in that. I'm pretty sure. But uh, anyway, I saw this one. It was getting a lot of good reviews, and uh, shame no Blu-ray. So, like, no Blu-ray in general. I think it was just. DVD release, so yeah, nothing wrong with that. Man, I can God. still watch the movie. Actually, well, while you unbox, I just want to confirm that it is. Uh, so I'll do another maze. I just want to confirm that it is the one I'm thinking of, <laughs> Phil Tepper. Because I'm think I think he was the the meme where it was like the the dinosaur handler and it's like yeah, Dude, I think that you was, had one job. You had one job and you let the dinosaur like, as the meme. Ooh, labyrinth wall. Oh, nice. That was the. One of the best cards to one get for memories, along with Millennium Shield. One of my favourites. Pharaoh from Different Dimension, Blackwing, Elden the Raven, Nimble Angler, Pernerodal, Mech Knight, Yellow Star, Solomon Judgment! Oh, nice. Yeah, I was, I'm, yeah. I'm so glad I was right. Jurassic Park, but he also did Star Wars and Robocop. I was going to say, yeah. I'm pretty sure I he just did wanted to, I just wanted to confirm, because I didn't want to look like a, an idiot. But uh, yeah, mad god, can't wait. Next one for you. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, keep on track. Come on, it was your idea. Ah, 65, the one movie I've been looking forward to watching. I really want to watch it. I really, really, really want to watch it in the movie, but uh, like in cinemas, but they, it was all late screenings. Like four o'clock, and that's when we that's go That's when work. we go to work, so I thought I'll, I'll just wait for it to come out on DVD. And, uh, looking forward to it. Anyone doesn't know, it's, it's Adam Driver, Kylo Ren with dinosaurs. Oh, that's how you. That's how you do it. Oh, I've been doing it wrong this whole time. I was just messing around while you were talking. I want that Black Luster Soldier. I'll definitely buy one some just to get some labyrinth walls. You could have, but you didn't want to go through oh, the process. Oh, it was like, I'm not... <laughs> nah. To prevent weighing the packs and robbing, they've put every single pack in like a sealed a plastic... case. Uh, ...case, and you've got to go up to the counter and they've got to unbox them one, one by, by one. One by one. I thought, no, I can't be fucked. I'm dedicated to Yu-Gi-Oh! We've got Ancient Fairy Dragon, nice. Rika Pitten. Moon in the Rika Fairy. Another Sangro Thunder. Court of Justice. Treacherous Trap Hole. Oh, wake up, the element of hero. Nice. That's on the front pack, yeah. Oh, last one, this one. Actually, who we got? Is, is my boy Clayman on there? I've got Bubble Man. Yeah, I like Clayman, he's my boy. It's a lot of the fusions. I've got this one, the... The, sp the Spine of Night, and the reason I got this one, it was just a bit of a, not a blind pick, but I saw a trailer of it. It's the, I always forget what it is, it's the, uh, what is, what you, the, the old um, Lord of the Rings, Ralph Bash Bashki, Bashki? Uh, road, uh, uh, rotoscoping. rotoscoping, yeah, it's, a, it's basically an animation rotoscoping, and I thought, I'm always down to watch stuff like that, so I thought I'd grab it. All right, I'll do another maze. I can't believe I forgot Ralph Bashki's name for a sec, because I like, I like some of his movies and I forgot his name. Ralph Bashki. I'm hungry. Deep Dark Trap. I just realized it's some um, oh, Gyo 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 Warrior. I could, can't remember. Royal Degree. Ryoka Guardian. Battle Royal Mode Joining. The Creepy Little Punk. <laughs> Creepy little punk. That's offensive. Spell book of feet. That it for you? Yeah, I only got four. I was going to get the Underworld collection, but uh, I think the sale was only online. The Underworld collection was going to be sold for 15 bucks, and yeah, I think it was an online only thing. Uh, I'm just going <laughs> to. There was no indication that it was on sale, and I didn't want to. I couldn't be fucked asking. I'm pretty sure I've got another one in here. And plus, I already, I already had spent <laughs> quite a bit. I couldn't be bothered. Shut up, stomach! Jesus. Talking back, son. You're going on a diet, boy. you got to stop eating. Yep, so I've got one more. Uh, World Survivors. Oh, this one doesn't. I've always known. There's like a... There's always like, there's like a... Oh, there we go. Jesus. I mean, I haven't eaten anything all day, but Christ almighty. What day? It's only like 12 o'clock. That's half a day. We're, yeah, well... We're being specific now. I've been... The last time I ate was at like 7 last night. 
So it's almost. <laughs> Is that how we're gonna do? Almost it? over half a day. <laughs> oh, why well, do I have to have jelly? Jelly making me hungry. Soul eating overweight. Dinosaurs get some love. No. Fire formation tanky. Enemy controller. Giant Rex. Bear grill den. I might get around to buying a booster box of the maze runner when it goes on sale. So yeah, that's some cards. Feels good to open up some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Just trying to wait. I mean, I've got a few other products, like random stuff. And just waiting for Yu-Gi-Oh, the boost boxes for the 25th anniversary to release next month. I was hoping at Supernova, because there's always a card stand there and that they would probably have them, but uh, I'm not gonna risk that in case they'd done it illegally and, <laughs> and weighed and got, no, not weighed, but got them somehow early. Mm. And in case they're fake, not saying it, it's just my kind You're of- You're saying they're fake. You're saying, here people, he's calling them out. It's my just sort of motive that I don't, until there's an actual release date, I don't buy early. Just in case, because you never know what people have done. Scammy with them. So yeah, so next week, Supernova, can't wait. Gonna try it. Hopefully I can get some footage. I mean, we're pretty strict over in Australia. No cameras, but as long as I'm not near the celebrities, I should be should be alright. And yeah, looking forward to it. So I will probably do another vlog if something else comes up, but next video will probably be Supernova. Alright everyone, I've got a bit of a task ahead because I need to find two comics that I want to get signed by uh, Freddie Williams at Supernova this weekend and uh, those two comics are the Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, crossover comic because I really enjoyed the uh, the first run and uh, I managed to get the first issue signed by uh, Freddie Williams who did the cover art and I'd like to get the other two uh, first issues signed as well so yeah I've got to find them. And in the meantime, Nintendo Direct's just started, so I'm going to be listening to that in the background while I search through all my comics. Alrighty, I just pulled the first box down, and I just remembered that I am a very smart cookie because I have spent a big chunk of time over the years cataloging my comics. I've actually made a load of folders on my computer, and I've put every single comic in a list of what box they are in so I've got X-Men I've got a Red Sonja box you know examples and what I've done is I've put in folders what I've put in the boxes like of the comics and I should be able to narrow it down where they're hiding Detective Pikachu 2 oh I still need to play the first one I really enjoyed the movie got it it's in my Red 4 box so I've read Red 4 on there so it's got to be there hang on bingo it's in here somewhere. Marvel Zombies, that was really fun. I like that one. Killer Frost. I actually really liked Killer Frost in that run. Tank Girl. I really like Tank Girl. Fury Road. I can't believe it's been almost 10 years since that movie came out. Come on, where are you at? Bingo! There we go. Right. Yo, as I'm just going through, look what Ninja Turex just brought in. Bringing it to Nintendo Switch. Well, look, I thought it was already on Switch. Jeez, what good timing looking for the Batman TMT comic. Ah, oh, must not have been. Oh, that's going to be cool. Oh, that's cool. Nice. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. All right, where were we? Now right, there's a third one. Bingo. All right, we're gonna get that one signed. Please tell me I've got the second run in here. Yes! Oh, I've got the really cool. Oh. Oh, do I? Because I've actually got the first issue signed already. Like, oh, the first run. Might bring it. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh, oh is that? Oh, I'm looking for the third one, sorry. Bingo! Oh, it's the really sort of classic from like the first ever Ninja Turtles comic. That's the one I picked up. Nice. Did I get any others? I wonder if he's going to be mad if I get him to sign multiple. No, I didn't get any others. Uh, he was really cool when I um, got my first issue signed because that was, what, 20... 2015? When did the... Oh, no, maybe 2016. I cannot remember for the life of me, but the person before me and Luke when we were waiting to get our comics signed, he was one of the eBay people, you know, oh, I've got... 20 issues can you please sign them and then i'm going to flog them on ebay and i am like to look now he's going to be annoyed <laughs> like he couldn't let us go first so then when me and luke went up you know he just had the one comic each oh you know it's really cool really love the art and the cover and you know can you sign it and he said no worries sign it for us and me and luke had money ready to pay and he said no it's it's all free of charge not a problem and me and luke were like are you sure <laughs> and he said you know, just do me a favour, keep reading, keep supporting, like, the industry, like, us and the artists and all that, and that's all I ask for here, and I've done just that. I'm, I bought every single issue of the the run of these comics, because I absolutely love them. They're really, really cool. One of my favourites. So, yeah, I'm excited. That didn't take long at all. Actually, I might see what else... I must see if there's any other, I, I know, how could I forget, Kevin Eastman, the co-creator is also coming as well, I might get him to sign, I mean, I don't think he worked on these ones, but I might get him to sign them as well, it'd be really cool, also John, um, oh, can we get the name, John the Soma River, he's done a few uh, TMT uh, comics as well as Batman, actually did he, Batman the TMT Adventures, Unless I was a... Is he on the... Nah. Hmm, I might look into that. There's a few people. I might get multiple signatures for these ones. Oh, Jamie Johnson. He did the Teenage Mutant Ninja Lost Ronin. I've got that. I've got the first issue. I might get him to sign that for me. Oh, I'm excited. I need to do more homework. Oh, I don't even know where I put that one. Alrighty, I got all my issue ones that I'll hopefully get signed by uh, Freddie Williams. And guess what I also found? The issue I did get signed. So it's just down the... Oh, hang on. Just there. To Liam. From Freddie. So, yeah. I completely forgot I got the pencil sketch version of that issue so yeah I might get them all signed I'm um, hopefully I can and I was looking everywhere for one comic because I was really not it's gonna sound weird as the days have been leading up to Supernova I've been excited but not just you know it's not like Comic Con all those years ago where I'm like oh I'm, I'm gonna get to planning etc etc and yeah with three days to go it was like I wasn't really in that mood yet well after tonight i am buzzing now that i'm getting into the just the uh how do i put it uh what's the you know getting to the ah oh, i can't i forgot the saying where well, you get really excited and now you're in the mojo and you really you know now i'm excited and i want to go through all my stuff and see where i can get signed and Kevin Eastman's going to be there. He's the co-creator of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I thought, oh, I'd really like, you know, I'll get him to sign something. And I believe he created the uh, the Lost Years or the Ronin. I forget their term. It's basically one Ninja Turtle. The other brothers have passed and he's living on with their legacy. He's wearing all their bandanas, has all their weapons. And it's a really good comic. And... I could not find it anywhere, but as I was looking through, hang on, just clear this bit up, as I was looking through, I found this, TMT Best of Casey Jones, it has three issues if I remember, 
the best of Casey Jones and Casey Jones is my favorite character in the TMT universe whenever I get asked oh who's your favorite character in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and everyone would pick you know Leonardo or Raphael or Michelangelo Donatello when people ask me Casey Jones every single time my favorite Ninja Turtles Michelangelo but when it comes to characters in the universe Casey Jones every time and to show how much of a fan I am I got the replica mask from the movie well not a replica but it's like a prop it's got a white MKX scorpion mask in front of it like a do like a duo kind of thing and that was the mask I was inspired to make my mask for my Kane Hunter Taker persona it's just a half face mask so I have that as my sort of look and I've also got not one Casey Jones figure not two Casey Jones figures but three Casey Jones figures and I'm also waiting for this really awesome Casey Jones statue I've put my order in I'm just waiting for it to arrive so you can probably tell that I'm a big Casey Jones fan this is what I'm gonna get signed and I'm very excited and I was like oh I'm so glad I was going through it. and I found this because this was a really good read I really enjoyed like just seeing the best of and I wish there was sort of like a big book with every comic Casey Jones was in and and I completely forgot I've also got a CGC comic that I got for Christmas many years ago from Luke the first appearance of Casey Jones so yeah I'm pumped cannot wait so I'm hoping I can get this signed hopefully not too busy so yeah I'm excited cannot wait and I'll, the next uh, clip from this is probably going to be me and Lucas Supernova and just as I ended I just remembered something else I I did so when I was first starting off my YouTube channel I wanted a masked persona because you know like I've been saying love Casey Jones because wearing the mask uh, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time is Kane in a WWF and WWE and originally I was using the Kane 0203 mask as a sort of you know my persona who's behind the mask and then after that I adopted Casey Jones mask from the first Ninja Turtles movie so there's a I drew a really meh picture of myself wearing that mask and that was the sort of picture I was using as a display picture for my early years and then there was a moment where what was that charity event all those years ago the the ice bucket challenge uh, is it the ALS ice bucket challenge you know when it was that thing and you would tip ice water over yourself and then you would ask three people you know to do it as well you would challenge them to do it and yeah me and Luke were challenged and I actually wore like uh, a Casey Jones mask and where I bought that from was I believe Etsy no I think I won it in an eBay auction because I really wanted one and at the time the mask I just shown there wasn't really a Casey Jones mask from yeah you know, from the first movie and yeah so I wore that and it was really Oh, it was very rough and very sharp edgy so I wore it once and I thought yeah I can't wear it again and yeah I think that's it I can't remember and then I sort of moved away from the full mask and then I started wearing the half mask I had like an alien xenomorph for a little bit and then I was like oh I really miss my my old like Casey Jones style mask so then what I did, I just took the bottom half of the, you know, his mask and then put that on as a sort of, you know, reference. So that's where that kind of origin of the mask come from. And yeah, I just sitting here talking, I just remembered how much I love this character so much. And yeah, I'm really excited. And I think now I'm finished. So now, hopefully now, Super Dave. Uh, guess what, everyone? I found it <laughs> there was just one more box that I missed I thought I'm sure I've checked them all and I found it now I'm even more excited so hopefully I'll get that one signed 
and this one so yeah the last ronin i just couldn't remember so there he is down there hopefully i'll get it signed i lied everyone i said it was going to be supernova for the next video clip i do of these but what mm -hmm. a liar but um yeah but today it is the last day tomorrow it is supernova i'm sorry if there's a bit of a glare or brightness i parked under a light and i can't be bothered moving just to uh well open up some more Yu-Gi-Oh cards been in a Yu-Gi-Oh mood i've already spent some of my supernova money because <laughs> i thought i'd just buy some Yu-Gi-Oh cards while i'm here and when i'm in Isle, i'm here as i was walking past the store and i thought mm, cheeky mm, i'm on oh, cheeky cheeky brows and then yeah i just thought i just fancied opening up some cards Bit of supernova good luck for tomorrow hopefully and today we'll just pretty much um supply shopping supply shopping you know getting some waters and sanitize like because you know, the basic covid is still around you never know and it's flu season this bitch got a snorlax get one of that snorlax oh because went into zine there was a there was a sale for some pokemon cars and i thought mm, i'm not i'm not in the mood for some pokemon i'm in for some Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Gi so I got some. I didn't buy any because they didn't have any amazing, stuff I wanted. Amazing defenders. I was hoping they'd have the maze one, but I don't think they have it just yet. Very happy memory. The great Mikana ceremony. You seriously just put that trolley there, right next to me? That piece of shit. Um, protect the dragon. Ooh, we got something. E purely noir. Ooh, it's like a black panther cat thing. Oh, I, I almost forgot to mention, Kim, I was so mad when I did the last clip of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I pulled out those uh, Elemental Heroes, I forgot the Fusion card. Mm -hmm. I looked it up. Oh, I got scores, like a $70 card. Nah, not the... You get the bunged version. <laughs> I got the, the normal Ultimate Ray, not the super nice rainbow... You get the something. I second. dropped the packs. Something rare and I... Oh, spitting. Hey, I chose to park away from all of y'all. You stay away from me. I don't trust any of you. Excuse me now, another one of them. Extra. I got the same cards. What the hell? One for one. Oh, I pretty much got the same load of front cards. One for one. Hopefully I can fix that. Oh, of course, their car. The full LED lights. Yeah, you're definitely a trolley lever. Bastards. Blind people and I'm driving as well. I'm more important. Two people go to hell, the sinners and the people that leave their trolleys out. You bastards. Uh, protect the dragon again. Da -da -da -da. Rescue. Yeah. Oh, I should probably say, just because of Supernova tomorrow. We w I mean, originally, I mean, you can probably tell from the beginning of the month for this uh, came files that we weren't so mm, just getting autographs and stuff that we were just going to go around, meet the locals, you know, like artists and all that stuff and just have a bit of fun. Well, as the days have gotten closer, I'm thinking I would really like to get something autographed. And yesterday or the other day, I was looking for certain comics to get signed. Um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover with Batman and uh, Freddie Williams is going to be there and I want him to signed my first issues of all three I'm actually, of the volumes. I'm tempted to do the same. And I had my issue one signed many years ago of the first run, so I want to get the others done. And I got the sketch cover one of the first run of the comic, and so I want to get them signed. And then, oh, just thinking about it, I thought, all right, I might get one autograph, because very pricey. Um, Kevin Eastman. Kevin Eastman. Sorry, I, I had the first name. I just forgot the last name. Feel bad. Um, he's going to be there. The co-creator of the Ninja Turtles. And I thought, all right, might I want my only chance to get an autograph. I want to get something signed from him. And I was looking for the uh, Ronan, the Lost, the Last, uh, the Last. There's a comic where one Ninja Turtle's alive, the others have died, and he's carrying the mantle of all. Of all of them, and it was a really good comic. And I'll, he, um, uh, with that one, or him and Peter both did. Both so, because I know he stepped away for a bit, and I think this was the one where he come back and then did another Ninja Turtles comic. And I wanted him to sign that, and I couldn't find it. But what I did find was the best of Casey Jones, my favorite character of the entire Ninja Turtle 
franchise. When everyone's, anyone asks me, I was saying this in the video clip before, you know, oh, what's your favorite character from Ninja Turtles? Casey Jones. Casey Jones. Every single time. So I'm going to get him to sign that. And then I found the Ronin comic right at the end. And yeah, I mean, the clip's before this, so you all know. But yeah, I think I'll get him to sign those two. And yeah, very excited. But last pack, so I wanted to just mention that because yeah, we're excited now. We're, we're buzzing. I want to get some more autographs, but I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to worry about anything else. And then do some shopping, see what we got. Anything Resident Evil? Dibs. Rescue Ace Fire Engine. Ooh, that's a nice one. So, hollow in every pack. Alrighty, everyone. This is probably going to be the last clip. And then, it'll be Supernova. Can't wait. Everyone, we're here. We're at the Perth Exhibition Centre for Supernova of 2023, and I'm excited. Mm. It feel like, feels like home. It feels like home. We haven't been here, well, for a convention like this since like 2017, 2016. I can't remember because then the next year it was cancelled. They didn't want to come over here mm. anymore, like Comic Con in general, and then. Yeah, just didn't really do anything after that. It was just nothing. I mean, Supernova was always here, but it was at a different location. You saw that it was way further away. It was uh, the Royal Show, Perth Showground. We used we have a Royal Show every year. With, it's like a carnival event, and it was always there. But it was just such a pain to, to get. get there, and I just couldn't be bothered doing it. But yeah, now they're here in the exhibition centre, which is brilliant, and. Yeah, it feels like yesterday mm. we were here with our last Comic Con and very excited. So, what I'll try and do, we're not going to go in yet. We're going to wait for it to open. Well, it's not up. even open yet. So we've got another about 20 hour. minutes. It did not stop raining until we got here. Couldn't believe it. Absolute manic. But um, we're here. So, we're just going to wait. And then, first things first, I reckon we knock out the autographs. Yeah, get them done because I don't know how the line's going to be. Kevin Eastman's where you got to get. You got to get a token. He's literally right the next. So to the he's right next booth. to her, and we saw his Facebook post. He's really excited, which is good mm. to good, good to, to hear. hear. And um, Freddie Williams, I think you just go up to his booth. I'm and... still a bit worried because he hasn't announced any fees or anything. Like I, I want, I do gonna... want to pay him for a, like a, a signature. I'm gonna do like last time when he signed my issue one of Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and we'll say how much. You know, yeah, it's really awesome. And if he says no, I'll just say you sure. And then, you know, we'll, we'll yeah. see how we go from there. And then after that, what I'm going to do is try and get some footage. I'll, I'll record as best as I can. I don't want to get in people's faces, yeah, especially at their booths. But mm. hopefully catch you some footage. And then it's just browsing around. And I might save my shopping till tomorrow for Sunday. Bro, I'm shopping today. Well, we'll see how we go. I'm just, oh, I'm buzzing. So, yeah, mm. we're just going to chill out. We've got an esky full of snacks and drink. Yeah, no soft drink for me because... I can't do it like before where I'd live on one Pepsi through the, the whole day. I've got to have water, otherwise I am screwed. I wouldn't be able to go through and especially with all the people breathing in the atmosphere mm, and getting headaches. Sucking my air. I mean Christ, we were drinking monster energies last time. Yeah. So yeah, can't do it anymore. So I'll see you all well hopefully next will be some actually no, I'll be saving that for Kane's vlogs. Probably a lunch break will be the next hmm. clip here, so all right, look forward to it. All right, everyone, break time. It's 20 past one and whew, I'm beat already. My knees are hurting. Mm. I'm sweaty. So what we did first, thought we'd do tokens so we can get autographs. It took 30 minutes to get the tokens because we didn't do any didn't like, do special. Like VIP or special. We just lined up and so I thought, well, let's do Kevin Eastman first. And man, the line was massive. <laughs> we almost didn't make the cut because it was about an hour and a half from where we were. And then, you know, shimming along nicely and slowly. And then they must have been the, um, not the one, the person running the whole thing, but the people underneath. So we had someone come up and say, oh, look, everyone. Yeah, the man needs his lunch. He's about to go on lunch break, and he, he wants to spend time with everyone and have a chat to him, so we're trying to move it along quick, and that's when we're like, just give us the bad just news, man. Oh, we might have to cut the line, and we're like, no. So basically, he goes on lunch break, which is fair, fair enough. enough. The man needs to eat. You know, I need to eat too. So so we were just like, well, there's a few people will be, but me and, like, we're just easy. Just tell us what we need to do, and... 
you know, give us a ticket so because they were going to keep your place in line. So he goes for his lunch break, and then it was a Q and A and photo panel. Yeah, photos and all that until two thirty, and then come back at around that time and uh, get your spot back in line. So we thought, okay, so they got getting us prepared. We got in. We met we, the man. Yeah, and, we did it. Oh I my d- god, he was so. Very, it was, he was so cool. Yeah, and I did the. He was I did, starstruck. I, I did the cliche, like I know. You, I actually said to him, I know you probably here all the time. I'm such a huge fan. I did the stupid, cliche thing. <laughs> so I was like, I, was just, I, mean, I just rocked up. I'm like, mate, I'm just a big fan, mm. and because I had my, because we bought a, I bought a poster. They had these really cool, like first issue, like out of the sewers poster from like 1987, in a, in a printed form. And that comes with an autograph, so I got that signed. Got my Ronan comic signed, and I'm actually doing a Kane's vlog with our footage and stuff, so it'll be on that video whenever I make it. And um, I got my uh, Casey Jones best of sign, and he goes, "Let me guess, you're a big mm-hmm. Casey Jones fan?" So I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> so I got the personalised signature, did a Casey Jones mask, and yeah, we had a bit of a chat with him. And it's just, you know, oh look, thank you for coming, and he's saying, oh, "Yeah, you know, I love to be here." And, and just yeah, a very mm. cool guy. And th- there's there's me and my. I spent two days trying to. I thought, do I get my Ultimate Collection Volume One signed, or do I get my 35th anniversary uh, issue one signed? And it was like, there's me and my little like fifty dollar autograph. And everyone's got all this. Oh, like, the guy before stuff to the get guy him. before us, he was getting a bit of cabin fever because he just wanted to get it done and. He didn't read the thing properly. You can only get five items signed at a time. Yeah. And I, and I do agree with him. It's in a very small print because I almost missed it. It was basically... it's. So, when, yeah. So for each token... So you buy your tokens for an autograph. But when you're at when you're ready to get them signed, five items. So you're not holding up the line. Yeah. He wanted to get seven signed. And he was saying, oh, but yeah, I didn't see the he, thing. He was, he was a bit of... Uh, he was sort of... He was being a, being a bit of a Karen. Like, I... I can't stand he was a bit under pressure and all that, but it's because he didn't know. And, yeah, he and didn't I can know. understand that, but <laughs> that's when it's because we were we were sort of like chatting with him in the line as we were getting through, and and I said it actually was on, there. and he went, yeah. "Oh my god!" Yeah, and, we actually said like it was, it was, and it wasn't like a fine print. It was on, it was on the main page. But I, I mean, I nearly missed something. Yeah. And so then, what happened after that? So it was like a oh he he said oh look. Because so five items each, I had three. And he says, "Oh look, do you mind taking bungin, my two? Yeah, bungin. And, I, and that's when I said to the the guy who was in charge of uh, Freddy, like with his eyes. And I said, "Mate, can I take his two? Eastman. You said Freddy. Oh, I was thinking of <laughs> Freddy next to him. Sorry, Kevin. Because we got Freddy as well as an autograph. So sorry, I was I was picturing Freddy sitting there because I'm trying to picture where we were. So so when um uh, where was I? So basically, I took his five, two, his two, two, his two, so he can get it signed. I said it's not a problem, and then, yeah, he got a really cool. Like, he got all the pop vinyls signed with like little turtle icons for each, and then Shredder. And I thought, oh, that's. And then, and what was really cool with Kevin, he actually went out of his way to do a personalized and this signature. Is, and this is where I'm like, oh fuck me, I should have spent. Should have brought more. I should have spent the extra because I just all I wanted was just an autograph from the guy. I just. Oh, that's all I wanted. I was happy, but then I'm seeing him do like these little cool little. I went, fuck. Maybe I should have done that. But no, I'm I'm happy regardless. I know I'm just happy get... I met the guy. He was so cool. And when he was saying, oh, a big fan of Casey, I'm like, I did have a, a sealed like original Casey Jones, not from like the back in the day, but a really nice one. And I opened it, and that's when, yeah, Supernova is announced. It's like, oh, I should have mm. got that signed. But no, he was cool. And then. Uh, Freddie was next to him. Got yeah. my uh, three comics signed, and yeah, I feel bad because it was all free. Yeah, and... I, was, I was willing to pay. Like we, I'm tempted to go back because he has a lot of art to sell. I yeah, might buy I might do. Yeah, I'm, I said I wasn't going to do the art thing, but I'm getting. It's getting me motivated to start drawing again. Like I think this is what I needed to come out. We're home. Yeah, we're home. I want. You know what? Back. I miss the smell. Yeah, the old it sounds s- weird. The I just old miss musty the sm- smell of nerds. <laughs> Nerd mania. <laughs> This is the home of my people, but no, it's it's. I'm getting motivated to finally get the tablet out again. Like I haven't drawn in so long, and uh, yeah, just Kevin Eastman, legend, love you. And what else did we? Do? Oh, we did the we did a Star Wars um 
Yeah, we yeah, we don't like a Star Wars section. I couldn't the, actually hear the guy. The five hundred one Legion like booth, and so there was this, but he was in character, and mm. it was really cool. And we were doing like the Force test to see who was a Jedi Master, and they had these biscuits, and he offered us one, and I took a bite, and it was in the the Mandalorian episode where the scientists and the like the basically being rehabilitated into the Republic. It was the, ra- the ration thing. And it was that biscuit. We tried it and it was like, oh, <laughs> it was really dry. Yeah. So we're trying to talk, but um, we did this donation thing. Oh, you got a pin? Uh, variety. I didn't get a pin. Did you pay? Yeah. I didn't get one. Did you even get tickets? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I was doing it for the cause. So I got a pin. <laughs> but he was just a really, because he was in character, you know, oh, yeah, for the... The greater good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I was, I was, it was the charity thing. I thought oh, I'll do the charity thing, and yeah. So now I'm, we're just gonna have some lunch. We got an esky. Hopefully everything's still nice and fresh. I really need some water, and I got some tea bags to dunk in. So yeah. So mm. the next clip is probably gonna be us heading home. Alrighty, one day one of supernova done. It's only three o'clock, but you know I'm. I'm we're, all, we're old men. The day's over when it's twelve for me. Just when we waited in that line, that's kind of knocked yeah, it out. Yeah. a little bit. But we'll be back tomorrow for Sunday, and we pretty much did a lot of the stuff because the intention was to do autographs and then, sorry, itchy, walk around, see what we can find, and tomorrow kind of buy some stuff. Some and stuff, we, but, uh, we bought a few things, and we'll save that for the end of tomorrow. And we, um, what were you going to say? I was going to say, hopefully there's more, nothing really jumping out for me, so I'm hoping there's a bit more, well, the, because the wanted to see um an artist austin we bought a few of his yeah. prints in the past and yeah just going through i was like oh yeah bought that one bought that one so we bought a, a piece from him yeah and i was really shocked because so i've got three art guys i've been kind of following the last few years so austin uh mark i forgot his last name i feel bad couldn't find him but another guy was um levi that i've always um bought some art pieces from I think Levi Kleeman. Sorry if you see this video, man. I'm, I hope I get your name right. I feel bad because we were having a chat with him and it recognised us from a few years ago that we, because we were always buying a lot of uh, art pieces from him and he does really good work. Mind you, all of them mm, do. They all do, yeah. So I bought a few pieces from him and yeah, just wished him good luck because yeah, COVID hit pretty hard with a lot of Especially like local artists that want to meet people and sell their art stuff, and so it's it's good to see him, you know, doing well and Austin as well, and a lot of other cool artists. You bought a few, yeah, I, from someone. I don't want to spoil. I, I wish I got their business card. It was um, this it was. I recorded uh, it. I'm sure I'll get yeah, it. Yeah, it was a. a cra- no, I didn't record that because I didn't want to intrude. Oh, was it like crazy nostalgia, spooky nostalgia? I think so. But you will see when I, yeah. I was trying to find a lot of the stuff I'm looking for. I don't think I'm going to find, so that's why I'm sort of saying like nothing's jumped out. But uh, that's why I'm hoping tomorrow I might find some things that I've missed because it was a bit crowded trying to just walk around and yeah, you know, around this time spot. it was a yeah really so crowded. I'm hoping tomorrow I'll find a lot more stuff that I'm looking for. So yeah, we'll pick up again tomorrow. I, I mean, I drew a lot of cash because I thought with F post I didn't want to. Didn't want to risk just in yeah. case something would go wrong, and something did go wrong. The woman in front of us, when buying tokens for an autograph, her phone wouldn't register yeah, wouldn't onto re- the, uh, the scanner. We and weren't eavesdropping because we're, we're pretty much all hovering and around. She's kind of having a not a breakdown, but she's like, "Oh my god, yeah, I'm on the line. line!" Like she felt bad, and, that, and then and she's that. apologising to us. I said, "Look, it happens to everyone. Deep breath, you'll get through it." But uh, it's, it's why I'm not going to use phones for. But yeah, everyone's doing F post now. But I said, "No, no, I've got cash mm. just in case." Yeah. Something does because I remember Comic Con. I was told like this one, all the power was mm. down. No one could use F Post, and no one brought cash because you know with COVID, no one's brought cash. So yeah, I thought I want to avoid that, but I still got a bit of cash to go. I was hoping for more cards. I, I yeah, really that... to buy some. Spoil. We did buy some Yu Gi Oh stuff. Did buy some. Yeah, won't spoil, but I was hoping a bit more. There was a lot of um. I'm sort of over the anime, manga, and Japanese sort of stuff. So it was a lot of a lot that. Of pop a lot of, a lot of pop it's, vinyls. It's sort of like the yeah. You know, you've got the you got your um, your pops, your Lego, yeah. Your um, your swords and weapons. But, yeah, it was, um, it was a lot of a lot of anime stuff, and I've sort of a lot of homemade mm-hmm. stuff, but just a little bit pricey for my liking. 
because there was these really cool skulls. This dude did a really good job. Like, yeah, the perfect of, cell one was pretty cool. Of uh, like characters in like anime and movies, but yeah, just a bit pricey for me. But uh, yeah, just really cool. And we'll with the video like in this cane files uh, tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, but the next clip will be day two. All right, everyone, day two. I couldn't sleep last night. I was so buzzing from yesterday just with how much fun we had and yeah I'm surprised I got any sleep and I nearly slept in I set my alarm for seven and yeah I fell asleep but I woke up at 20 past seven again I thought oh that was lucky but um yeah um we're gonna get another autograph from um Kevin Eastman because I it was just awesome and Luke feels bad that I he only got one thing so I felt well I was debating it was like a last minute decision sorry, sorry. I Sorry, I'm tired. Just I had uh, psyched myself out, and I saw him doing the little, like, what is it? Uh, a sketch signature. Um, a remark. A remark. Is what they call and uh, it. I didn't know what that was, so I thought, I'll, I won't do it, I'll just do the normal autograph. And he was doing, like, little cool little details, and I thought, I'm going to get my actual 30... I've got the... So I had my issue one. It's part of a 35th anniversary, like, box. So I'm Sorry, it keeps cutting. I keep mm. getting this notification to put my number in. I've put it in so many times, and then mm. it ends the video. So you're talking about Donatello because oh, so you want a special. I want, him, I want him to because he was doing the the guy in front of us had like each a turtle pop, and he was signing it with each color of the turtle. So what he did, and if I see this shit on eBay, I'm hunting yeah. this guy down and I'm going to kick his ass because yeah. I did him a favor trying to trying to help him out. get him all signed because he didn't read the fine print. Yeah, but he's got a. He had them all coloured with bandanas, which I thought was really cool. So he did them all individually with the pop and then did them all green yeah. and then signed them. And then with Casey Jones, did the white mask and uh, so really cool stuff. I see them, man. Yeah. I'm coming for you. So I'm, hope I'm hoping he does. I've done a little note just in case I get starstruck again. Can you please sign in purple, please? <laughs> and because just, you know, being a big fan of Casey Jones, I've brought my my replica mask from the uh, movie from 1990 or 89 or is that Batman that's 89 the it was first 1990 was TMT the first like the, movie yeah. and I forget his name like the actor to me is always Casey Jones like whenever I think of Casey Jones his face always pops mm. up and I've got an actual replica mask from the movie and yeah I had it displayed and then I got home yesterday and I was just looking at it as I sat down at my uh, desk and I went yeah, mm. I want to get it signed, and this time we're going to get a photograph with him. Yeah, he was just really he was awesome, really nice, really, and that's I felt, I saw, I felt cheap if that makes sense. Like I thought it was, yeah, like I thought, no, I just want your, I want your lowest uh, autograph, and I, th I felt kind of, don't hit my car. Sorry, everyone, this person's reversing. They're going to, they're so close to my car. You're lucky. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're going to say, it's not very busy, but now it's really... Yeah, it's getting packed now. I'll fix later. Oh, no. Mate, just don't hit my car, please. 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 All right, he's good. He's good. So, <laughs> yeah, you're going to get that signed mm. and going to get a photograph with him. And because he was... Because yesterday, he was so lovely. I he, think that's why I, I, the fanboy come out, because he was so nice and everything, and that's why... I, I mean, the line was was so big and they were going to have to they were going to have to cut it at some point because he has to go for his lunch break and then he had a QA and a panel and photo session and he chose to keep going a bit longer and and I even said to him look we you know I'm sorry we're cutting into your lunch break mm. and he said no I'm just happy to be here you know happy to see you all and just to see you know everyone's so happy to be yeah. here and so yeah we're going to do that today and yeah just pretty much uh, wander around again we're a bit bummed out we so we didn't find much Yu-Gi-Oh uh, I didn't find any video games yeah I was, I was we were hoping for some video yeah, games yeah that's it was, it was like there's something missing and that was what was it's definitely more of a it's not like a toy hobby fair nah so it's a convention. I mean I'm expecting things from toy and hobby fairs not so basically it's, it's the latest hottest thing yeah. we're selling you and, so that was why I made the decision you know what I've got some money to spend I'm going to spend the money to get my, get like the little marquee, whatever it's called. I can never remember what it's called. Because I thought, I mean, I want to, I want something little. Sorry, I'm not being rude. I'm just tired. It's going to say tired. I could not sleep. I swear yeah. I was still buzzing. Oh, I slept like a baby. Yeah, no, I thought like if I get something personal, hopefully he signs the, the purple and that. Because, yeah, 
we'll see how we go. So yeah, that's the plan. So it's about to open up about 10 minutes. So mm. yeah, and I'll be getting more footage as well. So alrighty, let's mm. do it. Yeah. I don't know how, it looks like you're a ghost. Mm. You've got the light, gl gl sorry. Mm. Yeah, we've parked right under a light, unfortunately. I actually noticed it in the first video. Didn't I you? didn't even notice. I did. <laughs> uh, well, this is for Kane Files. I'm doing this shit raw. So yeah, just having a break. We stupidly got there quick. Mm. I, I was really shocked. We like it's for the autograph. I went in because uh, I wanted to. We found our um, we found our friend with the, the coloured hair, and I asked. Yeah, her, the EMVP. I didn't get her name I again. Went, I'm, I want to get her name because I want because she's been so good, like so lovely, so she, friendly. She is just non-stop boom, helping. going from point A to point B. So I'm I'm gonna try and put in a good word because she's doing really well. And little I asked her, so I've got my tickets. Do I still need to get the tokens or do I need? And she said, no, nah, as long as you got the bar, the little QR code, go You're right good. in. And we were like, I was second in line, like yeah. to meet Kevin. <laughs> Because they like yesterday we were waiting an hour and a half. Today we we're second in line and, we, and just right through. But um, we had I was technically third because we had a VIP come in first. Come first, yeah. And he, he actually felt really bad. He was like, oh no no, and, and they said, no no, you're VIP. Get your ass through there. So uh, I mean, you paid for, what was it the five hundred? Yeah, you paid ticket? for it. I just. See, I mean, Comic Con before it was like two fifty each, but not five hundred. Nah, uh, sorry. <laughs> now def uh, next time I'm gonna get all tokens and that printed. It was just so much easier. You're not the standing only in line. Thing I'm worried about is if, because you got to pay for insurance in case you get sick. It's an extra twenty bucks. It's an extra. But if they cancel, do you get your you money still, back? Yeah. Or do you have to pay for the insurance because it's not me that cancel? I'm I'm sure they'll refund. Because that's why I'm a bit hectic doing it online because it happened right the day before one of the guests well, cancelled and yeah, I'd hope you get your money back. What you do because the emails come in do it on the day like the night before. Don't do it like... No, they did. It was like literally the uh, day before. Okay. But uh, anyway. I'm sure... Yeah, enough rambling. I'm sure they'll reimburse. So, yep. Saw Co uh, Coven. Saw Where Kevin. Where did Coven... I'm, actually, I, I, he saw my little Kevin. note. I was, he saw my note and I said... I, picked, I ripped the note because I fanboyed so hard yesterday and he was just... He's so cool. <laughs> he's just so down to earth. He's really fun. Yeah, really fun. Like, really funny. So what I did, as I mentioned... I should have got my Casey Jones hockey mask signed. So I did. And I also got other people who have worked on Ninja Turtle stuff in the same booth to all sign the mask. So Freddie Williams is there. And we've got, um, uh, oh, it's reverse, damn it. Um, Jamie Johnson. Just followed him on Instagram because really cool artwork. And I thought, the least I can do, I'll, if you sign my thing, Bought some art prints. I'll follow your Instagram because he wanted to show us. He was going to cosplay as Casey Jones from the movie, and but it, yeah, he was over the weight limit. Or yeah, something. with his gear, yeah, he couldn't. So he couldn't bring it. He couldn't bring it. Unfortunately, but he, he looked just like Casey. It was Jones. really cool. Like the hair and everything. I'm sure it's on his. I'll put a picture yeah, up. He, so he was. It was like. Are you sure you're not Casey Jones? It was. It, it was, was so really cool. good, and yeah, it was really cool. And uh, following another artist now, he does really good prints. We bought a few off him, and then there was a few other people as well. But um, the coolest bit was um, Kevin Eastman. He he did all the blood splatter. He didn't have to, mm, and he did. Yeah, you know, I was happy with the the little remark, uh, remark like his little signature and and his, uh, his name but he thought while he's here he did blood splatter as well because he, he remembered that I was from yesterday that I was a big Casey Jones fan so very awesome I'm taking this to the grave and I think every year when we have a supernova or a convention Try any, get them all to sign. any person who has done a Ninja Turtles thing I'll get him to sign this I was really happy with that it was so cool and yeah uh, we bought a few we bought a few more prints honestly I've I've done the complete 180. I said, I'm not going to go. When we bought the tickets, we thought, no, nah, we're just going to shop around. We're and coming into shop. Yeah, and we I'm, just, we're not going to stress about autographs and pictures. And then right at the last few days, we're like, oh my God. The itch is coming to. back. <laughs> yeah, the itch is like, I want to get out the tablet nut again. I want to start drawing again. I've, I think this is what I needed just to come meet some artists. It was, it was like ever since Comic Con bailed on us, it's like, well, I'm not going to yeah, you know, go out of my go way. Go out of my way. And, I've done a complete 180. Like, I want to meet people. I've missed this. This yeah. is the thing I've always looked forward to. Every, I mean, we always had Supernova. 
but it was just too far. It was just, where it was, it was just such a pain. And the time that we went many, many years ago, it was very Derelict. disorganized. It just, it was like everything was just all over the place. It was hard to sort of move around. And when we found, like I was saying yesterday, when we found out it was here, I thought, you know what? Just do it. I'm going. And uh, no, I'm I glad, need this. Like, yeah, I'm glad we, I just can't believe, like, I'm actually buying more art than like, Little little nick. I mean, before I was buying like props for our. I still need to edit another episode of Resident Evil Uncoordinated. I was buying props for our series, like guns and stuff like that. And I was mainly buying a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We bought some more. We've got yeah, so we, much Yu-Gi-Oh. We uh, we actually. I won't spoil, but we did manage. Uh, to this find, is Kane Files, so okay. you can spoil. Yeah, we bought. Uh, we managed to find the 25th anniversary. I've bought. I'm buying so many of them. Um, I wasn't. I thought. Oh, maybe it'll be like 60, 70. It, it was, was 80. Yeah. It was like, but I thought, why it's, not? We're, we're, Hopefully, get my slide for a wing dragon. We're over. here; it's fine. So, uh, what up? So, what I'm doing? So, I'm filming these for Kane Files at the end, at the start of every new month. I'll upload all my stuff that I recorded for this series. And I was going to do this for Kane's vlogs, like this whole event. But I'm going to do a double troubling special. So, we normally do double troubling where we talk about things that have happened during. You know, the time from the last episode, like gaming news, all that stuff, what we've been playing. And then at the end we do a, a, a like a special after where we do Double Trouble and Slam, where we compete against each other to see who can be the champion. But this one is going to be like my Halloween or our Halloween and Christmas special. So it's going to be Double Trouble and Supernova 2023, so there's not going to be a Double Trouble and Slam. It's just going to be us talking about... You know, how much fun we had. I'll put all the footage on there and then we'll do all our, you know, what did we pick up? And we picked up a lot of stuff and I'm very excited. I'm shocked how much I've. I can't wait to get home. See, yeah. we've got to wait till around two o'clock because we're going to get a we're photograph get a photo. with uh, Kevin. I, just to I'm going to have this with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be so. Well, I'm, I'm oh, ecstatic. Like like, I'm, I'm so cool. I'm so happy. <laughs> like, I can't wait. It was a, a very successful weekend and it's only 11 o'clock, but mm. we thought we got a few hours. We might have lunch and then. It was just, uh, the, the goodies were getting a bit heavy. So Yeah, Luke. See, my, my, uh, my, my book alone was like, a key, like three kilos. We've taken jobs. I'm the driver. I set up lunch and get the esky in the back. I do the, I do and the navigating and the carrying. Luke's of the, the navigator and, the, and I'm the filmer. I'm record yeah, he, you'll see Luke mainly. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm happy with that behind the camera and there's so many cool cos I can't believe I got this so I had my camera gone we saw someone a scorpion from Mortal Kombat and I was like oh that's cool and literally a few feet away another, another sc scorpion another comes one. through and I went oh that's cool and then a bit further on Sub-Zero <laughs> <Yeah, from> bloody <laughs> walks past it's definitely a, a Mortal Kombat day today so yeah uh, really great I'm having a great time we needed this mm. and it's definitely getting there the juice is going where I want to start drawing. I just—I mean, I'm still drawing, but not as much. I haven't drawn a proper. Let's put it. I used to draw every day. Yeah. I draw used like to. once every twelve. I'll say twelve once every year now because I just don't have the passion. But now I'm getting the. This is what I needed just to get the juices flowing. I would love to one day be able to be the one at the other side of the table. And, I, yeah. Yeah. You want me to sign something? I think that'd be great. I'd start. Crying. And I'd have this <laughs> right next to me on a mannequin head display. So, yeah, we'll end that for this little clip, and the next clip will probably be us heading home. Yeah, because uh, cause I think we might head off after the photo. Yeah. Because I think everyone's going to be... We were, yeah. I was going to say, you know what we should do? We do like a little challenge where we got to buy each other a gift, but mm. depending yeah. how crowded it is... I was, mm, I was thinking about it, but it's a lot more... Mm. What? It's... You are trying to hide it. No, it's... it's a lot of cosplay stuff, like for your cosplay and that. I mean, do you really oh, want me to get you a fairy tale or something? Oh, <laughs> well, it's not a gag gift. Yeah. I was going to say because go. I've been paying attention to you. What you've been going? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. So I thought I'll buy you that. Yeah. But if you don't want it, I won't worry about it. Yeah, just, just, we'll see. We need to buy the alpha mum. Yeah. Because uh, our mum, she she loves owls, you know, especially with like Harry Potter, Hedwig. So there was a little cute little owl with a witch's yeah, hat. Because she was hat. all about sort of like the witchy stuff growing up. And oh, what would Dad be? We need to get something for Dad as well. What would he? There was a Grogu print, 
and man, there's a few Mandalorian yeah, drawings. Yeah, I might try and keep them. Oh, you know the one that you pointed to? I think that Mandalorian picture would be really cool. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. So, oh, wow, 10 minutes. Right, we're going to end it here. Lunch. Some lunch. i got a bologna sandwich waiting for me. Turkey and pickle. All right, everyone, I completely forgot. I actually got John, uh, John Somariba. I hope I got that right. I think it's like... So I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> he worked on... Uh, some just, Batman, he did the Batman TMT adventures, adventures. which I didn't realise if I'd known. I would have brought my, I would have brought mine to sign. So it. yeah, he was. So it was all of them there together, and I got him to sign it as well. And I bought a few prints of his as well. Yeah. And yeah, I was like, I, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, I got him to sign it as well, and he was really cool. And he wouldn't take um change. He, so it was it was like three prints for forty. Yeah. So I give him fifty. And he was going to get changed. And because I'd asked him, oh, look, would you mind signing my mask? And I said, I tell you what, keep, don't even worry about change. Just let me, just sign that for me and we'll call it, you know, we'll call it then. He goes, no, 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 no. I'll give you your change. And I went, <laughs> so everyone is so nice. Everyone's very lovely. Like, they're just happy to just be here and see the fans. Show, show off their art. Show their art. And... It's all, it's like I was saying before, I won't ram on again. It, it's kicked started the tradition again where I buy a lot of art prints, follow a lot of artists. So it's it's really good. And I feel bad, I knew I forgot someone. <sighs> oh people. We are beat. But what a weekend. Mm. This has been absolutely fantastic. I, just like what I was saying. We needed this. Mm. This is what... Just to come out, splurge, meet some artists, meet some celebs. And, yeah, just been really, really awesome. And going to try and keep doing this every year. Get time off, hopefully. And, yeah, just... I want to do more. Hope I might... Ah, oh, see, I don't know if I can do both. You know, Comic-Con and Super... I think it depends who the guests are. Yeah. We'll probably see, but... Yeah, this has been great. And now we've got to go home. Mm. And then start back to work. boring work. Go to boring work. <laughs> Until next year. Mm. So, yeah, been awesome. And we got our picture with um, Kevin Eastman. I finally and... just said, yeah, let's do it. Look, <laughs> never oh. know we might meet him again. Hang on, it was just here. So, here we go. There's us with the man himself, Kevin Eastman, co creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, he was great. Mm. It was absolutely awesome. And I got my, um, my mask there, all signed by the crew there today. So yeah, really good. Mm, I, had a great I hope time. he comes back. I'll definitely like to meet him again. And we are off home and get to bed. I'm definitely gonna sleep tonight. All right, everyone. It's the next day after Supernova. Oh, mm. we are tired. And yes, <laughs> still wearing the clothes. They're not dirty. It was. Mm. It wasn't as. Um, I'm technically wearing a Zelda one today. So. It wasn't as hot and sweaty there. It was pleasant. It was very quite chill and. Yeah, so yeah, don't judge me, leave me alone. But um, yeah, I had to save a little bit of money after splurging, just buying a lot of cool stuff because I had to come and pick up Sonic Origins. Here's mine. Oh wait, I, yeah. opt I opted for delivery because I was getting so pissy with the missing a lot of missing stuff. Stuff. So I ended up going for delivery. So yeah, that's why mine's not here. And what's really, it just looks like a like picking up a. A classic old Sega game, just with the cover, and yeah, so 16 classic Sonic games, no playable characters, so you can we see new playable characters yet, 12 see. collectible Game Gear titles. I'm looking forward to, I'm definitely tempted to do a Tails run, like second run, because that was one of the first playthroughs I ever did. Now, I'll open it up. See, I've, I have not played Sonic Mania, because I want to do playthroughs, good game, good game. I've done Sonic 1 and 2, and I just need to do Sonic 3, but I, it was just, there seems to always be, it's either not included in recent collections and like flashback consoles because the emulation was always pretty rough. So hopefully now we can do it. We can do it. I mean, it's on Steam, but I don't know. I just don't feel, it's just weird to me to play it on Steam. I don't know why. So there's the very cool case. So if you open it, you should be, it should be a reversible cover. So there's my, yeah, it is. Oh, yes, it is like Sonic 1. I might do that, actually, because I did that with Sonic Mania. Hmm. So you've got the reversible cover. It's almost like uh, the first ever Sonic game to cover. That's really cool. I like that. 
So what else do we So oh, hopefully yeah. I should get mine today, if not, hopefully tomorrow. So I also got Yeah, little art book. Oh the little yeah, little art book. I think that's I think that's all the goodies you get. I saw Tales Adventure. <laughs> oh hang on, so let's see what games we got. Oh, it's just game covers, but I assume it's the same principle. So of course some of the hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, our favourite. But Sonic the Hedgehog 3 I love because Knuckles is my favourite character. Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic CD. I do need to... I've never played Sonic CD. The closest I've ever played was in Sonic Mania with the levels. Yeah. Oh, so, so you just so had the US the... and then the European. And then you got your Game Gear, Tails Adventure, or Tails... Oh, there's another Tails game, Tails Sky Sky. Yeah, Patrol. it's 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 a flying one, I think. Sonic Tails Two, Sonic. Lab. I remember playing Sonic Lab. No, oh, there was one where he was like riding in a car, like a minecart. The collection with attitude. Very very cool. So yeah, I I'm, haven't been I buying a lot of uh, physical games, but things like this I will because it's classic games. And I like the. I'm actually going to keep collecting Switch games because I like the cartridge. Because like, every time you get like a, a disc, there's the risk of the disc popping out, which has happened loads of times. So something like this, you know, it's not going to pop out easy. So yeah, and it's little cartridges. Like I just wish more games. Would, I mean, the the um, just talking about Supernova, you know, being all Ninja Turtle crazy and <laughs> didn't see any Sonic stuff. No, what I was going to say, but like the Turtles Cowabunga collection. Yeah. You know, had all the classic had stuff and yeah, I wish more things would do that. So, Capcom. yeah. Capcom. Yes, Capcom. Capcom come I'm on. I'm begging. Just release Resident Evil the originals. I will not ask for anything else. I will literally not ask for anything else, I swear. <laughs> it's been proven it works because um, uh, Metal Gear. If they can do Metal Gear, they can do Resident Evil. Yeah, they got to do. So yeah, we'll end that there. Like I know Capcom. I was just gonna say, I know Konami's <laughs> Metal going. Gear. Like you, you just know what I mean. If Metal Konami Gear can, can do it, if Metal Gear can be done with how the game is, Resident Evil can be done. No excuse, Capcom. Now we're done. Get to it. But more. No. <laughs>